Hello students, so let's continue with our latest practice 9.3. So I have done question number 1 or 1, then 2, 4 and 6, okay? Question number 3 and 5 you have to do. And after doing so, you have to show me, okay? Now let's begin with question number 2, okay? So this is the diagram. And here also we have to find the value of x, okay? It is x, here also it is x. So here we have to find the value of x. Now in the triangle A, B, C, you can see that there are two angles are given, angle A and angle B. And you can see this symbol. So this symbol represents that these two angles are equal. In, in this case, we know that this symbol represents that these two sides are equal. Okay. And here, in this case, the two angles are equal. Clear? Now, if this base two angles are equal means what if two angles are equal means the two sides are also be equal isn't it if two angles are equal means the other opposite sides will also be equal and if the opposite sides are equal means it is an isosceles triangle correct so triangle abc is an isosceles triangle because the base angles are equal and therefore the opposite sides of the angle are also equal therefore ac is equal to bc we can say now what is the value of ac ac value is 8x plus 12 so 8x plus 12 is equal this is the value of ac is equal to bc bc value is 12x minus 18 okay now 8x plus 12 equal to 12x minus 18 <coughs> Or we can also write that 12x minus 18 is equal to 8x plus 12 because both are equal equal. So you can write 12x minus 18 in the left side or 8x plus 12 in the right side for easy calculation. Nothing else. Okay. Now because 8x is present in the right side, shift it into the left side. It becomes 12x minus 8x. Means we are just combining the like terms. Okay. Next. 12x is there and shift minus 18x into the right it becomes plus 18 okay now 12x minus 8x is 4x is equal to 12 plus 18 30 now x equal to how much 30 divided by 4 and 30 divided by 4 means x equal to 7.5 centimeter so this is your answer okay now question number 2 this is your triangle triangle a b c and angle B is 5x plus 8 and angle C is 7x minus 2 degree clear and you can see you are familiar with this symbol isn't it so this symbol represents that angle A is 90 degree so triangle ABC is a right angle triangle so angle A is 90 degree okay and in a triangle some of the angles are always 180 degree okay angle a plus angle b plus angle c is always 180 degree means 90 degree 90 degree plus 5x plus 8 5x plus 8 plus angle c means 7x minus 2 are equal 180 degree now 90 5x 7x how much 5x plus 7x means 12x 90 plus 8 minus 2 90 plus 8 is 98 and 98 minus 2 is 96 okay so 12x plus 96 equal to 180 degree. Now 12x equal to 180 minus 96. So 12x equal to 180 minus 96 is 84 degree. Now x equal to what? x equal to will be 84 divided by 12. This one 84 divided by 12. And the answer is x equal to 7. Okay. Now question number 2, 3. So this is your diagram. A b c this is a triangle and in the triangle two sides are <coughs> extended and because this a c side is extended to d and b c side is extended to a then it creates an external angle and always remember when we cross two lines suppose here also it is crossing two lines isn't it so when we cross two lines like that so always remember the opposite angles this angle this angle then this angle this angle the opposite angles are always equal so here also we are crossing it isn't it this one and this one so this angle and uh, this angle both the angles will be equal means if it is 30 degree then this angle also be 30 degree clear
and in the diagram these two sides are equal okay b c a a c and a b both are equal you can see the symbol this side and this side is equal so if this side and this side is equal means what it is an isosceles triangle and in the isosceles triangle the value of the base opposite angles are equal means opposite side of this angle is x and opposite side of this angle is this one now if it is 30 degree then it is also equal isn't it means it is also be 30 degree so the two opposite angles at the same vertex are always equal therefore angle dce angle d c e is equal to angle acb angle a c b okay if this angle is 30 degree then is this angle is also be 30 degree so this one again triangle abc is an isosceles triangle so the angles opposite to equal sides are also equal therefore angle acb angle a c b is equal to angle abc a b c means both are 30 degree or we can say that x equal to 30 degree very simple now let's move on to question number three here we have to find the value of x and y so this is your diagram a b b c then it is d okay now you can see these two sides are equal means what these two sides are equal means it is an isosceles triangle and these two opposite angles are also be equal clear so in triangle a b c a b is equal to b c a b is equal to b c so it is an isosceles triangle an angle b a c angle b a c is equal to angle b c angle b c a means this angle is equal to this angle and both are x if it is x means it is also x clear so both are x and also triangle abc is a right angle triangle and you can see you can see what is the value the value of this is 90 degree means it is a right angle triangle so it is an isosceles triangle at the same time it is also a right angle triangle so angle abc angle a b c it is 90 degree clear so angle a this one is b a c is x then again b c a it is also x but it is 90 degree and we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle are always 180 degree therefore angle b a c angle b a c plus angle a b c plus angle b c a equal to 180 degree so b a c x a b c value is 90 and b a c b c a value is x equal to 180 degree so x plus x 2x plus 90 is equal to 180 degree and 2x equal to 180 minus 90 sorry this is not 1 okay so 2x equal to 180 minus 90 and it becomes 90 so 2x equal to 90 therefore x equal to 90 divided by 2 45 means angle b a c is equal to angle b a c a is equal to 45 degree means value of the x is 45 degree okay here the value of x is 45 degree now we have to find the value of y okay now we got the value this one we got the value this one is how much 45 degree because the value of x is 45 okay means this angle is also 45 because it is an isosceles triangle now we have to find y and we know that all total it is in what it is a straight angle angle b c d it is a straight angle and if and if this angle is 45 this angle will be 180 minus 45 means it will be 135 isn't it so again angle b c d is a straight angle 180 degree okay and angle b c a plus angle a c d is equal to 180 degree means if we sum these two angles then it becomes 180 degree angle a c b and angle a c d if we sum both the angle then it becomes 180 degree and we know the value of angle b c a b c a is 45 degree and a c d we don't know that is y equal to 180 degree so y is equal to 180 minus 45 y is equal to 135 means 
angle x is our 45 degree and y is 135 degree next question number 3 2 okay as you can see this is the figure a b c it is a triangle it is a triangle and here a b is extended to d and it forms an external angle and again a c is extended to d and b c is extended to e here also it forms an angle okay now you can see because these two lines are crossing each other at the same vertex means the opposite angles are equal well i told you before so if it is 82 degree means this angle also be how much this angle also be 82 degree okay if it is 82 degree means this angle this is an opposite angle so this angle also be 82 degree clear now two opposite angles at the same vertex are always equal okay i told you therefore angle d c e angle d c e is equal to angle a c b means both the angles are equal and both are 82 degree clear again triangle a b c is an isosceles triangle because the two sides a c is equal to b c and here you can see triangle a b c it is an isosceles triangle why because these two sides are equal these two sides means a c and b c both of the sides are equal you can see the symbol okay so the angles opposite to equal sides are also be equal therefore the opposite angles this is the opposite angle of this side and this is the opposite angle of this side means both are equal if it is x means it is also x clear if it is x if it is x means it is also x clear therefore angle b a c angle b a c it is x so is equal to angle a b c angle a b c means both the angles are equal now we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle are always 180 degree so therefore this one angle a b c plus angle b c a plus angle c a b or b a c are 180 degree now we know that angle b a c value is b a c value is x angle a b c value is also x and angle a c b a c b value is 82 degree clear because this one is 82 so this one is also 82 now if we sum them then it becomes 180 degree now x plus x it becomes 2x plus 82 is equal to 180 degree now 2x equal to shift 82 into right side 180 minus 82 now 2x equal to 98 x equal to 98 divided by 2 is equal to 49 degree therefore angle bac is equal to angle abc is equal to 49 degree means this one x and this one is also x so these two angles are 49 degree 49 degree clear now we have to find the value what is y and you can see if it is 49 means and again a b d it is uh, all total 180 degree means it is a straight angle and if it is 49 then it will be 180 minus 49 clear now angle c b d or angle y is equal to 180 minus angle a b c so y is equal to 180 minus 49 and y is equal to 131 okay so x equal to 49 and y is equal to 131 and this one is 131 and x equal to is 49 degree this one is 49 and this one is also 49 degree thank you